I meant the warrior specific ability, Ancient Aftershock. Man, that's cool. There's some really cool animal powers. It's something I definitely want to get more going in is Torghast, but I have to level these characters first. Must be a new thing, haven't seen it before. I just downloaded the update like five minutes ago, so yeah, probably came with this new update. Because it, it wasn't there when we were doing the last key, so I just like updated my add-ons now and it came. It was like, it's funny because it also like retroactively fixed it to the previous like log, you know what I mean? I guess the data was always there, it just wasn't showing that way, and now it is. 20% CDR and Fleshcraft, is that worth it? I think so, because it makes the value of the Fleshcraft reduction part of it that, that they just gained even higher, right? But my, my point was only using it as an alt. Like, if I had an alt that was Necroloid, I'd pick it up, because it's certainly better than any other trinket you're going to get for a while. It's certainly better than the Dark Moon deck, right? It's always been there, just... Uh, no, I know that, yeah. I'm just saying it doesn't normally show on the healing chart. Alright, here we go. Oh, D and D for some reason. Unlucky. It's a ten percent damage reduction now applied. Correct. Yep. We have ten percent damage reduction across the board, and yeah, I guess at times it's noticeable, but for the most part, I didn't really like. I still died a lot. You know what I mean? It's not. Not gonna change the. I always look at it like how I've looked at things with golf. Like I could get, uh, you know, mechanical adjustments or whatever you would say. Like I can get like physical adjustments. Like you know, maybe a golf ball that is better for my swing speed or a club that helps me hit the ball easier or something. But in the end, the only thing that will really matter is my swing path and my swing tempo and all the mechanics of the swing, so. A 10% damage reduction doesn't suddenly make you invincible. But it certainly is very good for Blood Decay. I think I would use that trinket if I can get it at higher eye level. It does have primary set on it, is that what we said? I don't know, that does sound like it would be pretty deep. Especially, like I said, on alts. Very good trinket for an alt. If you can get your hands on it. I guess if you were rich. <laughs> it's like, I'm not. I'm gonna pay 200k for a fucking trinket on all, but. Ah, I got it. Cool. Yeah, primary stat. So that's pretty good. It's a good trinket. Here we go. Useless from the other covenants, though, of course. 207 Trinket isn't much lower. It's true. Yep. If the effect was good, it would definitely be uh, very worth it, regardless. Okay, I didn't know this way. Uh, it's probably hard to notice the 10% with Fortified. I mean, certainly, yeah. This is actually going to suck. Because of... Sanguine. Because of quacking. 
Bunch of numbers towards the sloth pet. Big hype. Oh, I'm actually really excited for that pet, honestly. Seems like it'd be pretty cool. Not a big fan of charities in general, but I'm glad that it is hopefully being going to a good cause and we also get something for free. Pretty generous, right? To give that to anybody, even if they didn't donate. It's like a backpack. It looks like it, but I, we'll see. <laughs> We've only seen what they want us to see on it, so I worry that it won't be as cool as it looks, but it sounds awesome regardless. I mostly use Fleshcraft before pulling on my warrior on prides. Oh, you don't you don't use it on CD? Rex Trade just uploaded a solo Shriek Wing, gotcha. Thanks for letting me know. Okay. So far so good. Two deaths though. How's your mom doing? She's doing pretty good. I'll tell you what, I'm actually uh She seems ahead of schedule, let's put it that way. Doctors Without Borders are really great charity. Sweet. Yeah, it's not the charity that I have problems with, it's just companies that are trying to like act you know what I mean? Like the Blizzard makes more money than the charity is gonna get from this fucking thing. Like they, they don't need us to raise funds for it. If they wanna give to charity, they can do it themselves. Not a big fan of this whole, like, hey, look, it's for charity! You know what I mean? It's like, right. Anyway, I uh, usually use it mostly on CD where it makes sense. Don't really want to use it on poll. I get you. What's, like, the effective uptime on it? Or, like, the effective CD of it, I guess? Need to separate them anyway, so I might as well. Hey Metro, how's it going? It's been a while. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Last time you were here, you had a, a red icon. Now you have a teal one. Or a... A plat... What, what color is that? <laughs> Platinum or something? I can't remember. Diamond? Something like that. Thanks a lot for your support. How you been? What have you been up to? To be fair, it's been a while since I have streamed myself, so... You might not have missed that much. Cool. Feel about quack. Quack, quack, quack. I haven't been playing much WoW in a few months. Been playing some other games with some friends. Gotcha. Well, as long as you're having fun, that's all that matters, right? I'm a cynical person, so I agree in principle about Blizzard running a charity, but the net benefit to charity is overall higher through their organization. Yeah, sure. I'm sure it does. I'm not saying that they shouldn't do it or people shouldn't donate. I'm just typically not a big fan of this is for charity. Like. Right, but if you wanted to give to charity, you could do a lot more than this. Invalid, oh. It's the wrong mob. That does a lot of damage. It's like uh, Game of Thrones, right? Like, what's it called? Uh, Marjorie Tyrell. She didn't really want to give to charity. She just wanted to be seen giving and giving to charity. That's how. Um, that's how it felt. 
At least this one's a direct link, though. I like that better. But. Uh, any thoughts on how the bus feels? Yeah, not really. Too early to say, but I mean, obviously it's 10%. It's not really that much, but certainly better than nothing. They really wanted to help charity. They could right, exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Just trying to get out without making it too on the nose. Did I care about the race of tank I make if I'm focused on upper tier of Mythic Plus? I would say no. I don't think there's any uh, huge discrepancies. Although if you're playing a tank that can be Vulpira, it can add up. It depends on faction too, obviously. We're talking about Alliance. Alliance has some very, very, very good tank, Rachel. So if you're playing Alliance, then you might want to care about it. But if you're playing Horde, I don't think it matters. I, I wouldn't care about it anyway. You know you got an issue when the hunter on your group is the reasonable way. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, that's that seems the case. I didn't actually pay attention to why people died there, but I don't know. Couldn't have been that big of a deal. Are you going to CC a mob on a platform this small is that retarded? No way that's happening. Not unless you want to mind control it, but... You know what really helps is calling people out in Chinese. Yeah, I'm really glad this guy has this fucking China ad on that nobody can read. Okay, we need to make sure they don't die too close to each other. So they're just going to die at the same time. <laughs> good day and good luck on your week. Thanks a lot, man. Glad to see you. Good luck on your week, too. Love when that happens. Forgot all about it. It doesn't actually heal the prideful, but it's obviously going to impact where we stand. Do you hear? So we have to wait another night? Oh, uh, yeah. That's true. You do have to wait. Is that. Wow, that guy's not even in the 2K club. Look at that shit. That bomb can cu 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 crush in it! 1.7k for half the pride there. Okay, let's get me some abilities here so these guys can do some damage. Are 
Probably don't want to stack for that on quacking. I got three 226 chances capped out on Valor, three items lined up, so it's gonna be a pretty big bump tomorrow. Sweet. Let's go do that. Best thing about swapping to Kyrian, I always have my CDs for prides. Yeah, what's the CD? Two minutes? Sign got hit by China letters. <laughs> That's not good. You're going to be hungry in a few minutes. Okay, so we got Phantasmal Parasite AMS that. Very good. Oh, it's one minute. Oh, wow. That's a pretty cool ability. I kind of like the Hunter abilities that aren't the Night Fae one, honestly. Like, I really like Flayed Shot as an idea, too. I know it's not going to be considered by most players, but Flayed Shot seems like it'd be so fun. It's like crazy how these covenant abilities have like transformed this game, honestly. Now there's like class, race, and covenant. <laughs> you know, it's like, what do I want to play? How about Night Elf Hunter? Oh, but what faction, what a covenant do I want to take? Fuck. Obviously, like, Night Elf Hunter feels like a slam dunk for uh, Night Fae, right? It's like, but if I was a dwarf hunter, what would I choose? You know, it's like, man, there's a lot going on now. Pretty cool. Alright, so that's that. We're, okay, we're not upgrading this. That we know. I say we're one segment down and we're halfway through the timer. Probably should make sure I have grip for something. I always end up Gorfiensing here. I don't really usually need it, but now I think I probably do need it. Okay, he knocked it back. Also time my first two 15s on Bear Main, one of them San Diego Tyrannical, great fun. Trying to get Keystone Master on Guardian, that's great. Yeah, Guardian's so cool right now, man. Wish I had more time. Or I guess I wish I had an infinite amount of time, because I have plenty of time, I'm just not dedicating it to these things. If race is sort of important on alliance, what races are good for tanking? Well, it depends on what tank you're playing. A dwarf is extremely good uh, for dropping uh, necrotic stacks, though. So if I was playing a tank, I'd be a dwarf, I think. Either dark iron or regular. But I think if I wasn't uh, a tank that was worried about necrotic, I'd probably be night, night elf, because um, I don't know exactly how many things still exist. I saw a lot of them in BFA and Legion, but I haven't really looked at all in... Shadowlands, but in uh, you can often drop um, mechanics with Shadow Meld. Sorry, I forgot the name of it. You can often drop mechanics with Shadow Meld, like completely negate them happening. And uh, it's fucking insanely powerful. Hit 99 stacks in a chronic. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, that shield legendary, right? It's pretty crazy. Okay, well, we do still have Gorfiends. That didn't aggro? What the hell? Didn't even know that was possible. Did not know that was possible. Oh yeah, 10% <laughs> damage reduction makes that ability easier for Blood DK. That's pretty cool. It's gonna make a lot of fights a lot easier because the 10% damage reduction for both physical and magic double dips on some fights, right? Make everything easier, I guess, technically, but. Had some hilarious bear pulls like that too. First pull on Halls of Atonement with Lust. Nice. B 
Be nice if mission board items could upgrade. Yeah, I think they should. That's what I was hoping they were gonna do in 9.1 when they, uh, or no, whenever they first started talking about it. I was hoping that all world content gear was gonna be upgradable as well as five man gear. Cause I don't feel like it's a problem exclusive to just Mythic Plus. I think the problem also exists in world content too. Without Titan Forging, world content has been completely, it's like useless. But it's great for leveling, but not good for max level gearing. Give me Threads of Fate dungeon queuing every time, oh yeah. What just happened? <laughs> what is going on in this game anymore? <laughs> 